You're listening to DraftKings Network. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Stugatz just uh, apologized to me, Chris. You'll find this funny. Stugatz just sincere. It might be the first sincere apology or the first <laughs> sincere thing Stugatz has said to me in 20 years. It felt different. He legitimately apologized because he knew in the last segment, as I did, that I was talking too much. <laughs> And I knew when I was in it, too, that I knew I was talking too much. But the way he apologized to me, and God, he's been wheezing to the finish line on the end of these shows with breath today that knocked out a mascot because Bernie smelled the cigarettes on Stugatz and was truly disgusted. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but off air, Bernie was coughing. Yeah. I don't know if it was the real okay. Bernie, the person that right, I heard look, coughing. Look, over the last three years, Stugatz has done a great deal of damage to himself. Hmm. And he smells like cigarettes in a way that I, I laughed in a way I shouldn't have when I walked in today because he was smoking a heater at 8.15 in the parking lot. And it just didn't feel like the height of show business. <laughs> it's not even a parking garage. It's a, it's a parking garage. Like, Stu guys is at the top of the game. He's writing a book. He's yeah. conquered media. He turned down a big New York job. Like, uh-huh. we wanted the media. Like, we got a lot of money to leave ESPN and fight in this game. And I find it hugely interesting. Right. Amazingly, it gets worse than you pulling into the 15 and me having a heater. It just happened. <laughs> I know. You smelled like cigarettes. You made the Hall of Fame mascot cough just by being in your presence. Uh, but he legitimately apologized to me because I know I sound obnoxious at the end of the show. I'm talking too much about something only I care about. You don't care enough about these people. You wouldn't be listening to us if you cared about these other podcasts. I also, I had Rambling Man loaded up during that yes, segment. Yes, Almost no, went to it. I know, I, but you don't understand. This is what happened, Chris, and I'm dead serious. I've been holding all of it down for too long. I've been hiding it from you. I want to talk about it, and the audience won't let me. And when the if I given a care about what the audience wants from me? Like, that's not where the interesting show resides. Um, this shit has been interesting because it's consumed my life for the last three years. <laughs> and, uh, yes, thank you for laughing at me, Juju. I want to get to all of this because Stugatz legitimately just said to me, as my team teammate who's now coughing through phlegm because he's so unhealthy and has so little left in the tank. Oh, so little. He just said to me, like mumbled it under his breath, sorry I didn't support you more in the last segment. I was trying to get bacon out of my mouth. I was joking on bacon. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon out there is so good, man. It's got some honey on it. It's sweet. Bacon alone is good, but honey bacon, forget it, man. Anyway, I apologize. Well, Juju misses this show. I know he does because Juju loves this show from a place that very few people do. But you know over 20 years, like you were going down a path that I love. I love having those discussions with you. I was looking all around the room saying, where are my teammates? Where's my help? I need another sound from somewhere. Nope. They've gotten out of the way and I'm going to get accused of being rambling man. I'll go to my trusted teammate of 20 years. He knows how to produce this show. Oh no, there's bacon stuck in his throat. (laughs) He can't fish it out. He's been digging around in his mouth for three days on air in a way that must disgust Juju. Juju, uh, he has done it three times this week when you'll never forgive Jeremy for doing it one time. Juju, I don't mean to betray any company secrets here. You have not shared this with me, but just based on what it is you've said on the air, I think you respect Jeremy less than you used to just because he put a finger in his mouth. I definitely uh, go in with a, fi- a fist bump these days for because of my brother on most handshakes because that haunts me before I go to sleep Juju, most nights these uh, days. You are positive and also elusive. You do not say bad things about people. I've asked you a direct question. Do you respect Jeremy less than you used to because he was caught on camera with half of a sausage finger deep in his throat? Yes or no? 
Yes. Thank you. I just want truth. Juju, Three if, knuckles deep. Juju, if we're going to establish, I, look, I am going to preface everything with the audience with Juju tries to be positive. He does not want to take people out. But Juju is the most honest man we have in the company. Hmm. Close second, me. <laughs> Juju will tell me what the truth is while wrapping it in positivity. I have missed today's <laughs> show, Juju. You heard, you heard today's show somewhere. What are the complaints from the audience? Did I talk too much about the sports media? Nah, you didn't talk too much about it, man. It's your show, your name in the lights, bro. We're here for it. But I think you have to remember that most of the people listening to this, me included, we broke bit, bro. So you talk about Pat McAfee and J, uh, J.J. Reddick, head coaching jobs, media landscape. Brother, we had to go to work today. We got to wake up and, and the stuff to do. So that's a luxury that them brothers have salute. But we don't give a damn. Like, they, they go off the air, somebody going to talk about sports. We just want that shit playing in the background while we do our lives. That's interesting, <laughs> Juju, but this is where I would disconnect with the audience because I believe that the audience rides with us, understands that Metal Arc has 45 employees because they're in this business with us. They're why we're worth so much. So the reason I, I promised people at the start of pandemic, I would sort of show them the innards of how the business of some of this works. And we've all seen it play out in public. It funds yeah. the entire thing, Juju. So I assume if they care about us, they care about this because this is consuming me. They love us, but this is consuming yeah. me while I'm at my brother's bedside trying to keep 45 employees in this game. I'm assuming that our audience cares about the innards of that, even if they don't understand the money. But that money pays for everyone at Meadowlark. Yeah, they care about it from the standpoint of you, because if they cared about those people business, but they're probably listening to them all day and tune in to them and not even give us a chance. So I think they're interested in that stuff. But when you are involved, like we care a lot more than let's just say just the examples you gave today, J.J. Reddick and Pat McAfee and those people. Like, I don't give a damn. I don't even watch their shows. That's why I be thinking I be saying stuff for the first time in history. This is the only sports show I actually watch outside of one or two more. And, like, I can listen to podcasts later on. But I don't be watching none of that, bro. I, I watched Pat McAfee for the first time, like, uh, when I was down there and we had Aaron Rodgers on. Don't nobody watch that. Your loyal fans, we love you. We want to hear what you got to say, big bro. And so we care about your business, but not necessarily the other folks. You feel me? Respect uh, for the salute to everybody, all the other folks, though. Oh, no, you, but Juju, you, this is what I want this to become. You know this. You know this is the truth, okay? I believe that uh, Juju has been an underutilized weapon around here for reasons that I can't totally understand because – I want to be doing cool stuff with him, at least in part, because in my 20 years doing this with the show, no one has been more honest with me than Juju. Uh, Juju will scream at me. Juju does not care. Um, he just doesn't care about whether or not something's going to land wrong because it's the truth in private, but would never do that in public. Right. Gives nothing in public but positivity. That's a friend right there. And love, well, but it's not just a friend. It's a good employee. Or, you know, I mean, I think people know some of the story of our relationship with Juju, but I want this to be our most honest segment. I want you to come in here and tell me without uh, regard for my feelings or anyone else's, hey, this is what you did poorly. This is what you did well. This is what the fans think because I've had to get out of what was the constructive criticism of Reddit because of whatever the internet's become, but I miss the way the most clever listeners of this show used to produce it by trying to be competitive cleverly. And so I'd like to evolve this show into whatever the next steps look that way, and I wanted to begin with you telling us what we got wrong most honestly at the end of these shows. So, what did we screw up today? Well, I'm going to start on a positive note, and thank you for the saying those positive words, brother. I, I always want to tell you in front of the world, I love you and I appreciate you changing my life because I was on the road to nowhere fast and you helped me pick myself up. So, I will always show you my respect, bro. But you from uh, two... <laughs> you got to know it. <laughs> Two bars, four stars on, on YouTube. They say, hey, great archive interview today. They're really enjoying them, and they really enjoy the art. I don't think you guys uh, experience it, but I, us watching the show during your breaks, sometimes Mike takes us down the archive and go to old interviews, and those have been a blast, bro. Like, it's, a, it's way refreshing to hear those than just watch a blank screen. So we got some positive stuff coming in today. He loves 
themselves, and I love them too. They're cool. They, they, it does look cool if you're not uh, watching on YouTube. I should explain to the audience because there are some things that have been concealed. Obviously, the move to video has been complicated and difficult, and a lot of people in the modern age are trying to figure out the video stuff because that part slipped by when we were at ESPN Stugatz. It happened very fast. We could have built all of this on YouTube. And, and we did not because we weren't thinking that way then. So we built the podcast, not the YouTube numbers. That's correct. Well, yes. the video, right. That's, right. And, but it feeds everything here. And, uh, yes, the television product is getting better because of things like that. It took a minute, but we, we've we learned in front of you. And uh, hopefully you have learned to love some of the video characters if they've stumbled around chasing the show. <laughs> also, for the first time, now this has never happened before, and it's still happening right now. We still got 20 hours left on this. But is Inside Man one of your favorite Denzel movies? It's 50 50 right now. And wow. you know that doesn't happen. Wow. wow. That's never happened never before. Never happened before. Right? Never happened before. <laughs> never happened before. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, and World B403 says, hold up. You mean to tell me that Dan's the most popular athlete in the world played last night and he didn't mention her once? You're slipping, Dano. And I got to say to World uh, B403, you got to tune in to the, uh, what, the Big Suey because me and Lucy got that yep. covered for you. So yep. he was just saving it for us. So uh, thank salute you, to my big brother. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I am not a sexist who refused to talk about Caitlin Clark. I asked Juju and Lucy to do so more informed than I am because they've been watching the sport for the last four years, and I have not. <laughs> Dan, I think right. you'll be happy to know I'm going this weekend, as a matter of fact, on a wellness retreat. I'm trying to become a better, you know, a better me. Uh, I am going to Las Vegas for two Dent and Company shows. So I just wanted you to know that, that a healthier me is on the way. <laughs> Those words mean nothing. Vegas, Dent and Company. I mean, they mean everything to me. I mean, Juju. Uh, also, also a great fan of the show. He wrote in um, Michael Askew, a.k.a. Askew. He turned 44 yesterday, and we want to wish him a, a very happy birthday, brother. Thank you for all your support. Sorry, I, I didn't get to it yesterday. to him. No. I don't care. Dan Good cares luck. so much about women's sports that he outsourced the work to a woman. Hmm. That's correct. Uh, that Jeremy, we trying to work on eye sticking. Likeability. Yes, Juju. How's that going for us, Juju? How's that going for us? Juju, how much does it hurt you? I hurt for you last night because your expertise was on display. Your two yeah. rebounding numbers came in very quickly on those bets. You had those easy. And Vander Sloot betrayed you. She betrayed you. Though You pour a lot of your heart into those bets, and that was a good bet, Juju. You had the three-team parlay. Right, bro. Salute to Salute Doggy Dog, man. Courtney Vander Sloot. I, like I said, I don't blame her. It was just Sabrina had an off shooting night. She kept swinging at Sabrina. Sabrina shooting from the logo, but them things was clanking off the backboard hard as hell, bro. She looked like uh old boy from that movie with Ben Stiller, Rain Dance. Oh, so, that's so it was, it was more rain. so <laughs> so good. Make it rain <laughs> drop. Yes, rain drop. <laughs> Sabrina was making it rain last night, boy. And so it's yeah, she she fell through, man. But and it hurt me so bad. Now you. I already know. I, I had a tough hour after that. Like, I ain't want to eat food. I no, really Juju, well, let around. me. I need to explain this part to the audience just to let them go. On, Juju man. cares deeply about this. He does not want the audience to lose its money. And that right. that bet hurt. It hurt because Juju cares. Uh, <laughs> and it's supposed to. That's the way that whole thing works. It's why people love doing it so much. Because you feel more alive caring about games more than you already did. Right. This is how I watch the games video. Uh, I know you can't see it, but I have four TVs here at the house and I was locked in. And mm. after she didn't get her um, her points, it just broke my heart. See, so, like, it's, no, but it's brutal. It's a, it, Chris, ugh. it's a heartbreaker. You hate it when you got, I had it. I followed you, it. You got two legs of the parlay. The third one's there. You know you bet it we correctly, you know, but you know you're right. informed enough. I just need her great teammate to make shots. That's all I need. But once you have two legs, you have to hedge the third. That's the rule. Well, I mean, but you can't do that. You if can they're all that, going on but, at the same time. But, yeah, right. but, but you, the timing, not the timing was a little off. She, 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 she fell before the other people even had a chance to. So I, my whole night was just ruined. As, as you, if you couple that next to Anthony Edwards crapping the bed now, um, how you. 
I predicted a lot of things, man. Oh, wait a minute. So some <laughs> last thing, because some people said yeah. uh, that we made fun of Simmons and Cowherd for getting it wrong on the Timberwolves, but not Juju. Yeah. But Juju got it right. I got it wrong. I apologized at the beginning of this series to Juju <laughs> for his analysis because the defensive player of the year did indeed bother him, it seemed like, for one game. But then he right, did but... not any longer, and it is fair to wonder. <laughs> it, it's Juju. It's totally good analysis by you. The idea that those bodies might bother him, and they did in game one, and then never again. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But to my, to the to my point, to my case, if. Aaron Gordon is going to play like Aaron Jeffrey Gordon. Like, they're going to win the championship, <laughs> brother. Like, 27 points last game. Last night, he looked like the second coming. Like, that's that's what I'm saying. They look the part. Now, with the Lakers, they just look so lackluster. And I say if they bring that energy to the Timberwolves, they're going to get the head knocked off of that monster. But, like, the, it, the entire team is stepping up. Even Caldwell Pope got you 12 points last night. It's like, I, you can't do nothing with that man Rudy Gobert or not especially the Joker with the look in his eyes the, I, I, bro the Joker had like two dunks last night what is that <laughs> he, he, there never been anyone like him Air Gordon uh, see you later <laughs> see you later Juju yes sir howdy listeners it's Mike and you know a lot has changed over the years just look at sports there's instant replay a three point line there were shifts and then not shifts But one thing that hasn't changed over the course of all those things I just mentioned, the great taste of Miller Lite. That's right. It's so good. And it's also less filling. So what's the best thing about Miller Lite, the original light beer? Well, Miller Lite sparked this debate way back in 1975. We still haven't settled it. Be like me. I don't pick one. I like it because it's both. Miller Lite keeps it simple. Undebatable quality. Great taste. Only 96 calories. It's a beer that strips away everything that you don't need and holds on to what matters most. You don't have to choose what's best. Be like me. Say both. Miller Lite. Great taste and is less filling. Tastes like Miller time. To get Miller Lite delivered right to your door, visit MillerLite.com slash Dan. Or you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories per 12 ounces. Fewer cows and carbs and premium regular beer.